episode 12 of solo leveling now out let's talk about it okay so episode 12 which i believe is the mid-season finale for solo leveling i believe we're getting the next 12 episodes later on in the year so this is sort of like the finale of season one season whatever you want to call it but episode 12 is now done and dusted so you can go check that out all 12 episodes are there to watch and Man, what an episode to end on. If you're going to end on a mid-season finale, this is the episode to do it on. Last week's episode was absolutely insane. When we had him fight Igris, that's the whole fight sequence was awesome. And then obviously we had the cliffhanger ending of all the knights coming through the gates and Jin Wu just having, you know, exhausted every bit of ounce of strength and mana that he had left in him. To just beat Igris. Now he's got to fight all these knights and that. And it starts off with him getting beaten down. He is just... He can't handle it. There's just too many of them coming. And then he sees... A figure of himself. Of his past self there. Talking to him. Now... When you see this... Old Jin Wu... This sinister smile is there. It just looks like it's a statue that's interpreting his former self and mocking him right now so that was great all that conversation that he was having and then obviously he forgot to do the daily task so the penalty comes into play so what happens is he gets warped out of that room to the penalty arena now for Jin Wu this is actually you know a gift from God it really is because he was down and out he was about to die but now that he's in the penalty area, he can now use his potions. He can regain all his strength. And instead of one giant centipede worm thing coming up, there's multiple. But, of course, Jin Wu is a lot stronger than the first time he encountered these. So, he goes on an absolute tear up and just rips through these things. And by leveling up, he's able to recover fully. So that when he does get warped back when the penalty's over, he gets warped back into the whole area with all the the knights and he says oh look i've been gone but look at you all now there's more numbers so he's standing there and he's now ready he's got a new weapon it's called the night killer which looks sick and he's ready to go he is ready to go to war here and this is just the whole animation throughout this whole entire show has been spectacular this fight was awesome to watch him just rip through these knights was fantastic and he just goes through and then he figures out how he's actually going to win this it's the mages who are opening the portals that are continuously showcasing more and more and more and more knights coming through to fight Jin Wu so he has to take the mages out so he then goes through and he just decimates all of these mages but then there's three left and the three mages create this big giant knight golem and Jin Wu is like, okay, let's do this. So he goes through, wipes those three out, beats the top, uh, the big giant golem, beats that, and you think to yourself, okay, so he's done it. But then, this is where we start to understand what Jin Wu is actually going to be capable of. Because he gets offered another class, the Necromancer class. He doesn't know if he should take it or not. But he does end up taking it, and now he becomes a Shadow Monarch, a new class. And what he's able to do with this power is he's able to rise Shadow Armies. That's basically what he is. So the Fallen people there, he rises them up, and they are that class. So they're that strong right now. But then he figures out, maybe I could, potentially. So he thinks to himself... Maybe I could get someone of a higher rank. So he looks at Igris, who's there, the dead version of him. And then he says, Arise. Then we get this beautiful animation again of these colors just coming up, but it doesn't work. So he tries again. He's only got three attempts to try and do this. The second one doesn't work. So he walks up to Igris, the dead body, and explains to him, You're sitting here. Looking after and defending a throne that you don't know who's going to come back and sit on, ever. They may never show up again. How about you bend your, your knee to me, put your sword with me, protect me, serve me. 
And then after he gives his beautiful speech to him, he says, arise again. And then, boom, Igorus is back as a shadow monarch. Oh, man, it was just one of these awesome scenes, especially when the cape comes out. Oh, man, it was beautifully animated, great. So now Jin Wu has this new ability, and we're about to see him on a whole nother level. I am so excited for the next 12 episodes. I cannot wait. All that is going to be absolutely incredible. The whole entire first 12 episodes have been fantastic. I've enjoyed it so much. And I look forward to where we're going to go now. Because this, this has just been incredible. It's been an incredible journey to watching where Jin Wu started to where he ended up. Really, really. So, look, the animation for this whole entire 12 episodes has been gorgeous. Like, oh. Some of the fight sequences have been some of the best that I've seen animated. They just look absolutely gorgeous. The colors are fantastic. The character of Jin Wu is awesome. If solo leveling continues on the trajectory that it is on, because I think these first 12 episodes are incredibly good. If it continues on and it gets to the next 12 and they're just as good, if not better than these 12 episodes, Man, this is going to be one of those animes that, like, we have to watch all the time. Like, it's just, it's so incredible. It really is. And, like, you still have the island stuff that they're going and doing as well. They obviously, the sneak preview is, there's a bug and they're saying that they're evolving. And I love the speech in the background as well when Jin Wu's doing, you know, summon Igorus. Where they're talking about we need someone that, you know has changed that can be completely different because we're not going to get stronger by training we have to train techniques and stuff so i really like the concept and the parallels that they're going with and how important Jin Wu could be moving forward so i'm really really excited moving forward first 12 is uh, fantastic the music as well the score is incredible man the score is incredible the voice acting is great Bring on the next 12 episodes. So let me know what you guys thought of Solo Leveling Episode 12. Did you guys enjoy it as much as I did? Maybe you didn't. What did you think of the whole 12 episodes so far? Have you been enjoying this anime? Let me know down in the comment section below. Smash that like button. Click subscribe. And I'll see you guys next video. Until then, stay safe and peace out.